All right, folks, what we got today is, uh, I got some new bearings for the disc hair. <laughs> and uh, we're putting those on, fixing the broken mount for the disc, and getting that thing in some dirt so we can get some dirt plowed. Um, I used our chisel plow or our five-prong ripper. rip up the garden and get everything get the ground broken up so it's so solid it was like concrete so it's just really compacted because it hasn't been plowed in like three years so today we're gonna get this disc hair going and we're gonna chop this ground up and get it all smooth and dusty and dirty and ready to plant some garden plants Replace my battery apparently. Make sure you don't get around this. All right, now I can weld the top side. Here, I'm gonna have to weld all this up in here to try to support it so it doesn't break again. I got it kind of cleaned up, so should be able to get a good hot weld in there. Hopefully it'll hold. We'll find out though, because we're gonna plow with this thing today. All right, I got this thing all welded up. I got the new bearing on. I got the disc on. I think it's getting time to hook this to the tractor and go give it a test. I gotta put my pins in and adjust my disc. I'll probably run them straight first just to chop up some of that dirt. Then I'll turn them and really turn it up real good. What do you think, Dickie? We good to go? All righty. So you made a mess earlier on the kitchen table? Did you clean your mess up, Dookie? Dookie. Dookie. Did you clean your mess? You disappoint me. So I've already got this thing welded up now. It's ready to go. I'm about to put it on a tractor and give it a good test run. See what I'll do. Ronnie's out there in the greenhouse. Just pulling up. She's in the greenhouse today, messing with plants. We got a lot of new plants started, so we're gonna be ready to start throwing stuff in the ground soon. Um, I know we've got like a fall spring right now and I'm sure it'll get cold again before it gets nice and warm and ready to plant, but I am going to get this ground ready. I got it all broken up real good. So, um, we'll use this old chisel plow or this old ripper, this old thing that, uh, my dad made some many years ago. And you can adjust the height with the wheels, but, uh, it's pretty nice. It tears the ground up really well. It's been so compacted over the years cause we hadn't planted. No, I needed to turn it up some and break it up or this one wouldn't do no good at all.
to adjust these plows. I'm in the greenhouse right now working on uh, starting some seeds and also another little special thing here that I wanted to share. Uh, my brother-in-law blessed us with, with some uh, clippings from his Granny Smith apple tree the other day. Um, I have the clippings right here. Uh, these are hardwood clippings. Uh, you'll hear them referred to hardwood or softwood. Basically softwood, that's when they already have leaves and green stuff on them. These don't, obviously. It's uh, still winter, almost spring, but still winter, so no leaves. Hardwood clippings. Um, I'm going to root these, and I wanted to sh share with you guys. Let me get my thing out here. I wanted to share with you guys how I'm doing this. There's a, there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different processes. Um, if you have a special way that you like to plant yours, I'd love to hear about it. Um, for me, most of the time, I just do what's easiest and most convenient for me at the time. Um, I'm, I just let nature run its course. Um, there's different tricks. Some people use sand, um, some will use sand and soil, just different things. Um, but let me show you what I'm doing today. So first off, like I said, here's the clippings. He gave these to us a couple days ago um, to keep them so they don't dry out. I just put them in a cup of water. If you get clippings from someone, uh, you can also just put them in like a, a Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator if you're not going to root them or, or do something with them right away. Um, some people will put them even right in the ground. Um, I'm just gonna try to root them first. So let me show you the soil we're using. So this is my soil. This is pretty much what I use for everything that I start as far as seedlings and I'm just using it for the uh, apple tree as well. It's just garden soil. I do get it nice and moist to where if you were to grab it, I mean you can feel it's wet, but it's not soaking wet to the point where water's dripping out when I squeeze it. So I'll just get us a cup of soil here. I've been trying to be nicer to my hands and my clothes and use this instead of get my hands dirty because I'm really bad about then just wiping it on my pants but okay so I'm just gonna take this cup of soil stick my finger right in there not real far I just kind of go to that first little part right there and then let's get us a nice clipping here we'll use this one there's your clipping I forgot to bring my shears up here, so I'm just gonna use this knife. It's just a cheap China knife. And I'm just gonna take the end here that's going in the dirt. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get it all off. Just kind of nick it and scrape a little bit to expose a little bit of that there. This is still real porous, but I'll just kind of go over it just to make sure it's all nice and exposed. And then this, this is take root. You can get this at Walmart. Um, there's other tricks and things people use. You know, this is just gonna help. It's a root accelerator. It's gonna help the roots. You don't have to use anything. I've done it without anything. Um, when you use a root accelerator, it will just, it will make it the process faster and probably stronger roots, uh, but really, you don't have it available don't worry about it and I just take and where I exposed I just dip it in like that and then I'm just gonna put it right in there just pinch that together and that's it that's it now when you when you're trying to root trees you don't want to put these in direct sunlight. A lot of people will place these on the north side of a building so it gets shade and just the sunlight coming from that one side. Um, another trick some people will do is they will wrap this entire part with saran wrap or you can put a plastic bottle of it. That just helps it hold the moisture in so it stays kind of humid. 
So since we have the greenhouse, I just took this one, one of the tables that Chris uh, made for me in here. I just took, this is just the, the garden fabric. That side would actually be the north side. So if I was going to place this on the north side of a building, it would be over there. I just took this fabric and I just covered that all up. So basically that just mimics the north side of a building. And I am just putting them under the fabric here. So they have some shade, but they get some sunlight. And by keeping them in the greenhouse, I don't have to worry about the saran wrap or covering because it stays more than enough humid in here. So that's not a problem. Um, so that's what we're doing. They're just sit there probably at least for a month, maybe two months. Um, I'll show you guys the progress later on so you can see the roots. Um, like I said, I would love to hear how you guys handle your tree clippings. Um, we're looking to add as many fruit trees as we possibly can. And I am always up for trying new things. Like I said, I just... I have too much going on so I keep it as simple and as easy and this is nature I'm gonna let it go you know that's what's always happened in nature so that's that's how I'm doing it I do use the root accelerator just for a better root other than that I don't really do too much like to my soil or any of that mess but I'd love to hear what you guys do what you think and that's it granny smith apples